today I'm heading south to a place so awesome they named it twice. Romblon Romblon is a beautiful laid back island with lots of marble. Join me as I leave Luzon behind in search of paradise. Why all the fireworks? Good morning from Manila Riverside, somewhere on the riverside of Mandaluyong. And I'm going to head south now. I'm heading back towards home rather than coming back north and going even further north. So let's see what we find on the way. Visayas, the next destination. Manila, thankfully, much quieter on a public holiday. This is where I've got to be careful. Make sure I don't end up on the expressway. I'm not allowed on the expressway. So I just used a tactic called follow the other motorcyclists and hope it works. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I think this is the one. Yes, I think this is the one. I think I've got it right. I'm going to use this one. I was going to say I've used this roundabout correctly. From the spaghetti of the skyways to the service road. This is where I'm allowed. until we leave the shadow of the Skyway behind for the hustle and bustle of Laguna. And by Batangas, I was hungry. Not seen it like this before. Let's uh, test it out. Lumpia. And just like that, we're in the port of Atanga. I mean, Batangas. 5,400 to get me and my motorbike on board. And the PPA and terminal fees are paid here. Oh, uh, 65. Turns out I've ridden this boat before on the Cebu Nasipit route. And today, the boat's fully loaded. Can you speak Tagalog, sir? Konti lang, sir. Konti lang. Mas baman bisaya. There were a lot of people getting on today. I think this boat goes to Romblon Romblon. So good at its name twice. Siboyan Romblon. And then Capiz. Rojas, I think. Possibly. But there's so many passengers on board. And the staff processed everybody excellently. Hi. Hello. Lots of new cars coming in. Batangas is a really, really important port in the Philippines, actually. The thing's coming in to Panama flagship over there. Right. One of these. So, <laughs> there's so many people because there's a Mimaropa schools event happening. School sports event. So, there's people from Mindoro, from Palawan, and then, of course, Romblon. They're all competing there. Yeah, it was a Yeah, <laughs> From the busy Batangas port, we travel through the night until we reach Romblon town around 2 a.m. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're almost there. Coming into port, it's tiny. Thank you for. That is a giant marble slide. Let's do it. Very reasonable room. Looks good. This is one blonde Bayfront Lodge or something like that. 
I contacted them on Facebook so they knew I was coming. Door was open. Good night. And here we are in the morning overlooking this beautiful, beautiful bay. So let's go out and explore. Marble everywhere. It's this town now, this island now rather, is the second largest producer of marble in the whole country after Bulacan. Bulacan's huge. This small island produces so much. And it's very, very historic beyond that because actually this was one of the first settlements in the Visayas in the 1600s. 1630 this was established as a pueblo alongside neighbouring Banton. It's a much smaller island. And this is the cathedral that stood for four centuries, which is amazing. But the Spanish came here first in the 1500s. So there's really, really a lot of history here. So after establishing this place in the 1640s, the Spanish realized that there were some Moro attacks going on and even some Dutch pirates. So they built this fort, Father Augustin de San Pedro. This guy really fortified this town. Actually, he came to Manila 1623, immediately transferred to Mindanao, where he stayed for 20 years. He even beat Sultan Kudarat in a battle. And he's the guy who really fortified this place and encouraged its inhabitants to be victorious against the Moros. And they were, here and Banton. 1660, he passed and he's buried in the church that he built. Let's have a look at this church. Church, this isn't a church, it's a fort. Oh. I can get in on the other side. Okay, I'll do that. You see these bricks, these stone bricks? It's cobbled brick. Ow. Yeah. You can see the view you have over the, the town and the bay. Here we are, this is the entrance. I should have seen that from the other side. These are steep steps. My dad used to take me to churches and cathedrals all the time when I was a kid. I used to hate it, but I used to love running around them climbing on them. I don't think I ever destroyed any heritage, but... And this has the best view over this bay. This is my favorite view. And down there, search for, please search for this, Romblon becoming Filipino. Have a look at Kula shouting at cameras, and I don't know what on earth he was doing on top of this cannon right here. I'm not gonna replicate it. Might get demonetized these days. Shall we take a little trip around? all the way around the island. It's like a 40 kilometers round trip, which is like me driving into the middle of Davao and back to my house. No, I'm not gonna jump off that. This is cool. The journey takes us first into the hills, past marble workshops, and interesting places. I just saw this and got intrigued. I have no idea what it is. But there's a road up and it looks like a cave. But it's got street lights. Hello. I wonder. Good morning. Little village. I'm so intrigued actually. So I took another look, mostly at these chickens. Goes up to a village, I think. Looks a bit far. Very nice people. Sometimes we're just destined for a different path. Uh, hello! <laughs> like this back road along the coast. This side of the island, the western, I think. The wind's coming from the west. I forgot what side we're on. No, we're not. We're on the east. Whatever side we're on, it could be Botanish, you know? Hey. <laughs> Everyone's so friendly here. Love it. Right, I need some food. I really need some food. And I need to get out the sun. I'm very dat all the time. lighthouse because I noticed it's really rocky and quite treacherous down here. The views are awesome though. It's windswept, it's not wow, look at this. Hey! How are you? Good! 
Woods, how are you? Fine. Good. Sometimes a different path is meant to be. This side of Rombron's more rugged, more rocky. Not the white sand beaches that we've seen on the pictures. I think that's on the other side, which is more sheltered. This area is open to the elements. It's only Savoyan Island over there. And the road's like this. There was a sign just there that said, end of national road. And it went from concrete to this. And the guys driving that Willie's Jeep just invited me to their place down here. Cotta Cabana or something like that. I'll find it. I'll find it. But first, I found something really cool on the way. Oh, it's nice and cold. This is lovely and cold. This is just what I need right now. Oh, and it's deep inside here, eh? Wow. I forgot my swimming shorts. What am I doing with my life? That goes really, really far in. That's really, really cool. I'm not Indiana Jones. I'm a terrible version of it. Wow, this water though is really beautifully cold, actually. This is somewhere I'd actually quite like to swim right now. Doesn't happen very often. Give myself a little blessing. Why not? And I found it. Hello. Hi. Hi, Eric. And so, where are you from? From the UK, but I live in Davao. Are oh, you live in Davao? I live in Davao. Yeah, yeah. I've been here so seven, you know. seven years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know Samal Island, Samal, Samal Island. Samal Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was just, uh, just near my place. Eric. Yeah. Hey Eric! <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, Thanks for inviting uh, me. I like I like your Willy's Jeep, that's cool. Huh? Ah yes. Yeah. yeah. Nice story here. Oh wow. Hey, Isle of Wight Festival, okay. Ah, yeah. Yes, Isle of Wight. And here are some pianos sometimes, you know. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> You've got it, eh? This looks nice, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, do you have some food or something here? Yes, we have we have a restaurant so you can eat. Oh, fun. that I, sounds I good. Can... Eric and his Bicolana wife Melissa have been here for nine years, right above this reef, complete with turtles. By the way, he bakes this bread himself. You just taught yourself how to make this? Yeah, sure, yeah. I use also the, um, we use the cream, okay? But I, I on the top I, I put muscavado, Muscavado sugar. Mm -mm. <laughs> you have guests, sometimes they, they mm. take one during the dinner and in the, in, for the breakfast. One also creme brulee. For the breakfast, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. He told me he used to play piano guitar in theatres before. I love meeting people like this, really interesting lives. Bay walk with marble benches. It's awesome. I like this. Different colours, patterns. Something very unique to Romblon, and that I was going to check out in more detail next. Bonbon Beach, the conditions weren't quite right. Near the town, marble products line the streets. <laughs> My own carpon. I'm beside you. So you can share too. Oh, good here. Okay. Okay, lang. Okay, lang. Kita kita ko. Okay. Ayo. So yeah, sinultian. Hey, beside beside you, tagalog. Oh, beside you, tagalog. Oh, kay kay taka tapa ko. Ah, elephants, okay. Wow. Oh, we got. Hey, Calabasa. This is beautiful. This is really a um, fish. It's really beautiful stuff. Wow, and oh, I like these. Tiny tigers. The craftsmanship is amazing. Danau, Danau, Lanko. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> the ladies do the finishing and polishing, and I decide to buy something from them. Ah, uh, ate Oh, my. Oh, uh, evo, evo. Oh, oh, evo. Oh, so Tagalog, aso. Aso. So, Bisaya, aso, meaning, I know, smoke. Smoke. I am. I am. I am. I am. Dito, I am. 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 Oh, manok, 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 oh, 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 I am, my, ano, my sinultihan, I am, manok, oh, 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 kalimok ko, eh, kalimok. Asa, ano naman sa Bisaya ng, ano, pusa, Tagalog, kuning naman. Oh, uning, ah, uning, uning, ay, uning, yes, ay, uning, ay, oh, oh, may uning, ay, uning, uning sa bumblon, sa bumblonan. Ah, uning. Ah, uning. Ah, uning. Oh, my uning. My ayam. Oh, oh my agila pa. Oh, oh my agila. Ay, oh. Oh, hindi. Okay, oh, pa. Nang ano, tapos. Oh, di ba tapos? Ay, ayo. Ay, mais. Ayo. Ah, ayo. 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 Oh, ayo. Buaya. Oh, oh. Buaya, buaya, haya. Ah, ayo. Oo, oh, oh, maganda yan. Ay, maganda din. Oo, oh, oh. maganda yung agila. Oo, oh, magkano yung agila? 350 lang. 3.50. I ended up with four pieces. It was nice to support these ladies. Shame I couldn't possibly carry this one. Ay! <laughs> oh, buaya. Buaya. Ilang edad mo? Ano na yun na siya, sir? Senior. Senior na. Oo, oh, tawag siya baho din. Ay! Hard working ka na eh. Ay, sino yan? Si Aguinaldo? Ah, hindi siya eh. Ah, hindi? Hindi. Pulis yata yan. Ah. Si Abila, salamat ha. So the ladies do the finishing, including Nanai. Beautiful work, and the guys do the hard carving. What on earth is going on there? Get demonetized for that, I think. Is that you? <laughs> You got him, Tobaho? <laughs> Works really, really amazing. I'm in awe of this. And I'm happy I got some. And it's incredibly, incredibly good value for the work they put into it. I planned to go to Bonbon, bon, but it wasn't to be. I'd been told somewhere in these streets there was an engraver. Ah, you live there, Yeah. Can you speak Cebuano now? Cebuano now? Oh, really? Really? Oh, what again? Oh, Cebuano now? Oh, do you know? I'm seven years old. Wow, I'm a master of the fire. I came from Paul. Ah, Paul. Paul, no, but Ah, very good. What's your name? Ansel. Ansel. Ansel, yeah. Bon Bon, nice to meet you. And Bon Bon was a cool guy. Been here a while. I can't show you the engraving because it's for my wife and it'll spoil the surprise. I was gonna go to Bon Bon. The problem is, right now it looks like this. And so we'll go to Bonbon in the morning. Macano and uh, chicken. 70. I'm actually gonna go to the most famous part of this island, but for me, I actually really like this town. It's really a beautiful place and a peaceful place. It's very, very chilled, very laid back, and very cool people. Sometimes I think of cut off from the world in terms of a bad thing, in terms of a hindrance, in terms of a difficulty. But then again, you see life in these kinds of places and you realize what being cut off from the world is just, well, it's less things to complicate life. It keeps life simple. And as long as you're contented with that, as long as you can eat, as long as you're happy. There's a certain charm to that. That yes, there's difficulties, but also you avoid a lot of difficulties too. You avoid the complications. And islands like Romblon 
are blessed with some of the greatest sunsets I've ever seen.